love it. Da! Ha! Yes! Hey everyone, Laura Cameron Stedman here. I'm going to start doing some vlogs on helping people to get in front of the camera and um, get out there and get your business uh, known. I think that video and getting your face in front of people is very important. I'm going to tell you something the other day that happened to me. I was taking, uh, I was thinking about taking some, some sessions um, of a course and I, I talked to two different people. So I talked to one on the phone, very nice, very good, told, you know, gave me all the information I needed and then I had a um, a video chat with another woman. It's the same program, but I was kind of like, I'd like to hear it from a couple of different people just to gauge what I thought of it. And so um, people who had done the course and they were actually also practitioners of the thing that I was going to be doing. And I went with the person that I spoke to on video on Zoom because I felt a much better connection with her. Now, the person that I spoke to on the phone was great and she sounded really lovely, but I think just speaking with the person that I ended up going with, seeing their face, seeing, you know, talking to them like you're face to face talking to somebody made such a big difference. And I noticed that as well when I am, um, you know, looking at things and, and researching things, it does make a big difference to be able to see the person and to talk to them. But um, a lot of us who are getting into, you know, running our own business, small businesses or big businesses, which whichever that is, a lot of us are coaches, different things like that, that are trying to um, get our message out there and get um, get people listening to what we have to say because we can help people with their issues. Um, and I um I was actually reading, I read a book yesterday, my internet was down, so I'm a bit of an internet junkie and I didn't, wasn't able to go on the internet, so anyway, but I read this book yesterday, fantastic book, um, and I really believe that, um, I mean this book is, this book's great for anybody who this is, it's just good for anybody. It talks a lot about um, using how people that are curious, um, they, not that they know more, but they um, don't tend to stagnate. They keep going, they keep learning new things or willing to learn. Um, intellect can be, and the amount of learning, the amount of knowledge that somebody has can be related to curiosity because you're interested in how things work and, and why things are the way they are. So you dig deeper into how things work and you dig deeper, you get more knowledge, a deeper sense of knowledge about how things um, are and why they are the way they are, things like that. But you also generally have a wider um, range of knowledge as well and that all builds on each other. Now, the reason that I thought it was a really interesting book, I believe that you can use curiosity to um, stagnate the anxiety that people feel when starting something new, when starting something like this, like doing video, when getting in front of the camera. A lot of people feel like uh, really scared about getting in front of the camera because they're worried about what people are going to think about them and I think you can use curiosity to kind of wipe that out almost to kind of um, if you're more if you're more curious than you are anxious then you'll go ahead and actually try and, and actually do which is really great and if you think about when you were young um, there's a lots of people, including in this book, and also uh, Ramit Sethi, who I listen to quite a bit, he's fantastic, that talk about having like a, um, the curiosity of a child and using that to move yourself forward, to find things that are interesting, to find like, products and find, you know, to move forward. And I think that's um, a great way to look at, at things just you know put on your scientist coat 
and instead of here's a here's a good one if you are the kind of person who's worried about people who are um like haters so you're you're not putting yourself out there because you feel like um people are going to not like what you have to say or there might be like those sorts of things cause you quite a lot of anxiety and you just don't want to deal with that so you find yourself procrastinating um, about putting yourself out there I'm in the same boat I have an acting degree and I have been you know put myself out in front of audiences you know quite a bit and I am fine talking in front of people I worked on cruise ships for a long time I'm fine on a microphone I'm fine yeah, da, da. but even doing this even in front of a video camera knowing that you're going out in front of you know how many people the 17 people that are gonna watch this no I'm kidding it's gonna be lots it's gonna be lots but also a really um, something that creeps up is like family and friends what are they gonna think um, you know if you have uh, family or friends that are very intrusive that have to be the center of attention or they need to like be in there and get their fingers in everywhere um, how is that gonna be if you put if you put things out there and then you're doing it as a business and you have you know people family and friends in there kind of mucking around um, you know that is a fear it's definitely fear so we'll come up with um, a, a bit of a technique now I have studied NLP and I've studied mindset training and I've studied a whole bunch of other things um, life coaching different things like that and um, I love coming up with techniques that can help now this is a pretty cool one I think and it is um, I, it's not called anything I just yeah but it's really good okay I've written on the board here I'm gonna show you now I want you to think about it like this think about creating something so you create a video you create an ebook you create a course that you want to put out there into the world but you're kind of like ah um, I don't know how it's gonna be you know I don't know what people are gonna say about it I don't know if they're gonna say it's just a big piece of crap I don't know if they're gonna say good things I don't bad things I don't know how it's going to be taken and I don't want to feel that like I don't know how I'm gonna take negative criticism what this exercise does is it takes you kind of out of the picture almost so your project becomes sort of a thing on its own and this isn't to you know it's not a humble thing or whatever it's just all it is is getting you out of the line of fire that you assume you're going to get so you can take the uh, take a step back from it and you can then sort of take take criticisms take you know positive negative comments all of that kind of stuff and you can actually just sort of without emotion involved you can um, look at them and analyze them and see if there is any things that maybe you might want to change but it takes away that feeling that you're being personally attacked which is the reason why we don't do things because we feel like we're going to be yeah okay so here is a diagram of it. all right I took acting in class in, in university not visual arts just saying okay so this is this is you to begin with so you're the creator you start with as, as the creator so you start out as the artist as the person who's creating whatever it is that you're gonna do writing a book whatever once it's finished and you've put it out there what I want you to do is visualize yourself taking a step back and then in all acting kind of coolness you're going to become a scientist so I want you to think about visually you know visualize in your mind that you're putting this thing that you've made you know you're putting this thing that you've made somewhere uh, you know wherever you want to place it but you're taking a step back then what you're gonna do in your mind is you're gonna put on that scientist white lab coat and you're gonna get your clipboard and you're gonna move from so when you start off you're kind of behind it because you're the creator you're gonna imagine yourself just putting on a jacket to getting your clipboard and you're gonna 
put yourself in this position. Now you're going to see your project off to the side. And then you're going to imagine that any of these, this is, this is the fears that you have. So the fears could be that you're going to get negative comments. The fears could be that somebody's going to tell you you're a freaking idiot and that what the hell are you doing? You're not an expert. You shouldn't be doing that. All that kind of stuff. Now, if you are in this position, so you're not, you're not in, you're not behind your project. You're not standing right here, like holding the project. You have stepped away from the project and you are all this, all this stuff that you're fearful of, it's still going to the project. It's still going, it's still like, you know, being aimed at the project and it's still going to that project. So any negative comments, any positive comments, anything like that, all you're doing is you're just watching. You're the observer, you become the observer of this. So you are gonna stand here with a clipboard and you are gonna say, look at the comments, you're gonna look at um, all of that kind of stuff. And even if you haven't put it up yet, this is a really good exercise just to put it there, make yourself the scientist that's, that's um, seeing, you know, um, that's really interested and really curious. So the whole project is that you're really curious to see how this is gonna go over. You're really curious to see and you really wanna make something great. So you're gonna be the scientist that steps back and goes, okay, is it great? Does it need some changes? And it's gonna be okay when you're in that position to say, ah, well, this one didn't work out that well. How, what did work out well? I'm gonna check off all the stuff that worked well and all the stuff that didn't work well. And then I can make, you know, phase two, which a scientist would do. They wouldn't get upset and stop and quit. They would say, this one didn't work out, let's, so let's do another one. And when you're curious, instead of feeling um, anxious, instead of feeling anxious about, oh my God, like people are gonna be like, ah, if you're actually taking that scientific, curious, childlike um, pose, like that's where you're coming from, then not only will whatever people say not actually really affect you at all, but it will also allow you to see the benefits uh, the pros and cons and it'll allow you to say okay well that's all right i can make a new uh, a new um i can tweak this one this one needs a bit of tweaking i can tweak it here i can tweak it here you know all of these things that i can write down in a scientific way um it's all an experiment this is all an experiment to see how this stuff works and how i can do make a successful project and it takes the emotion out of it so it takes that oh my God, what's gonna happen? Like, people are gonna hate it, people are gonna love it. Ah, franticness out of it and it just makes you, it's a calm, oh, okay, cool. And if people start saying nasty things, then you're in a position to be like, you know, I can see where you're coming from or not, um, but, you know, it, it creates a non-emotional, um, place for you to have control over what uh what how you react all right guys that is my uh vlog for today hope you enjoyed that i think this is a really cool technique and if you can get a lab coat and a clipboard and like actually step into the scientist mode because i think being being the character is fun so do it and um stop worrying about what people think and get out there get yourself on some video and help people and, you know, put your message out into the world. I want to see it. All right, guys, Laura Cameron Stegman here. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Um, oh, I keep, I always forget to do this, but, um, my social media stuff and all that, it's coming up. <laughs> it's all my name, everything. So it's all good. Anyway, have a good one. Bye-bye. I have to look down to stop the recording. Oh.